Hey there guys, what's going on? Today we're taking a bit of a closer look at the gunsmith in Modern Warfare. As you may know, you're able to customise pretty much every weapon in the game in the gunsmith. This does let you make some weapons that we've seen in Call of Duties in previous years. We'll refer to them as the hidden weapon variants. Like, you can make so many different iconic guns in this game, and we're going to take a look at some of the best ones today. So, these are some of the best hidden weapon variants in Modern Warfare. Some of them aren't great, some of them are just for aesthetics and looks and a bit of fun. Some of them are actually really, really strong. So... We're going to be taking a look at seven different hidden variants today. Like, you can do so many different things with a Gunsmith, and I will be sad to see it go if it doesn't make it into the next Call of Duty, which will probably be, like, Black Ops 5 or something dumb. Like, I suppose we've got to get hyped for that eventually. Like, But before we do get into the best hidden weapon variants here today, I'd love it if you guys could leave a like on this video. Let's try and get to six likes here. You guys have been really, really kind to me recently, leaving loads of likes and comments and watching all the videos. It really does mean a lot to me, like, especially the comments on my new series with the viewer custom classes like when i test out your custom classes in modern warfare it's it's pretty fun it's a good little series we've got going on at the moment so make sure you leave a comment on those by the way make sure you click that subscribe button with those notifications turned on so you don't miss any more of my videos right now that that's out of the way let's talk about hidden weapon variants in modern warfare Okay, so starting us off here is the AK-47, but you probably already knew that from the thumbnail. Black Ops featured, like, probably one of the best SMGs that we've seen in a Call of Duty game for a very long time, the AK-74U. So if we do want to recreate that in Modern Warfare, it's actually really, really simple. Like, you ideally want these attachments, the 8.1 inch compact barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, the 545 39mm 30 round magazine, the no stock and the stippled grip tape. Like you can already see just here, it just looks exactly the same. Like it looks exactly like the AK-74U, it's perfect. There is also something to be said for swapping out the stippled grip tape for something with a little bit more recoil control. This is sort of personal preference and it's very much up to you. If you think the AK-47 is a little bit too much on the old recoil, you can swap the stippled grip tape out for say the rubberized or the granulated. This is up to you. Again, personal choice. With these attachments, you'll need to play very aggressively and get up close with loads of people. And like, it's perfect for those close quarters maps like Shipman and Shoot House. The recoil can be a little bit wild sometimes. That's the, the nature of the AK-47. But you want to make sure that you're as close as possible and sort of just aim those shots basically. Or you just sort of rely on the five milliwatt laser to do the work for you and you just sort of hip fire everyone down. Overall, this is a very effective weapon, really, really strong at close range, so it is super fun to rush around with the AK-74U again. So the next one is, staying with the AK-47 here, we are going to go the other way, so rather than use an SMG, like, you can, of course, run the AK-47 as an SMG and an assault rifle, but we're going to go with the other way and set it to an LMG variant. With the correct attachments, you can turn the AK-47 into an RPK, which is pretty hilarious, like, it looks pretty cool. More suitable for those mid to longer range engagements, you're far more likely to rack up kills if you play slower and post up against cover. Especially with attachments like the bipod, the bipod and stuff like that, you just, you don't want to be moving around too much. So, these attachments you want for the RPK or the LMG setup looks like this. It is be the 23 inch RPK barrel, the bipod of course, the field LMG stock, the 75 round drum mag and either an optic of your choice or your preferred grip tape. In my opinion, that could probably be the stipple grip tape or the GI Mini Reflex. Like, just look at this thing. It is absolutely hilarious. Like, this setup will probably be very, very great in ground war. Like, just the setup on some cover, just post up behind a, a bale of hay or something like that and wait for people to run out into the field on that farmland map and you just rack up the kills, man. It's so, so good. You can actually put in some serious work with the 75 round drum mag. Like, you just keep shooting, but you cannot rush with this class at all. Like, sprinting around or trying to get into position and getting caught out by someone, you're going to die. Like, you get outgunned by pretty much everything up close pretty much every time. So, this is very usable, but only in the right circumstances. So, moving over to the best SMG in the game, the MP5 can be turned into a couple of different very powerful variants. So, starting with the MP5 SD. This is actually kind of lazy here. Like, you basically, like we've got here, just equip the subsonic integral suppressor, and that's that's it. Like, if you look at this thing, this is exactly what it looks like in, in real life. This is exactly it. Like, there's no changes to be made here, but... If you want sort of a more a more effective weapon, like it's already an excellent weapon as the MP5 goes, but you can pretty much equip whatever you like on this. So you can go your stipple grip tape, you can go your, your FTAC collapsible stock, close quarters stock, this is up to you. You can slap an optic on there, you get the TAC laser, 5 milliwatt laser, you get the underbarrel on there. 
It's going to look a little bit different to how you want it to look, but it's still going to be, in essence, the same gun. So this is, of course, up to you. Like, it's hard to go past any attachment choices. Like, you can just pick whatever you like on the MP5, and it's going to do some serious work for you. But, like, if you want the complete look, you're probably not going to want to attach too many different things that change the look of the gun. So this, is the, this looks nice here. It looks nice and clean and lean, and I just love the way this one looks. It's not as effective as some of the other MP5 variants that you can go with, like with the 10mm ammo and stuff like that. But this does the job for me. I like the way it looks and it is very, very cool. Yeah, as I was saying, given that the MP5 is a monster anyway, this class will be perfect for rushing around and being pretty stealthy because the subsonic integral suppressor is actually quite interesting. It gives you that sound suppression, no visible traces, aim down sight speed and no enemy skulls for a little bit of bullet velocity loss. It's pretty cool. I've never actually given it much thought previously, but once I started using this a little bit, it was very, very cool to use. So again, we're sticking with the MP5 here and we've got the MP5K variant. This is actually a more complete weapon variant than something like the MP5 SD where you only change one thing. Here we've got four attachments that get the full look here. So if you throw on the tactical suppressor, the FSS mini barrel, the FTAC collapsible stock and the Ranger foregrip, like you'll get something that is actually quite effective and does look very, very cool. The last attachment slot can of course be filled by whatever you like, like you can use a stipple grip tape or you can chuck an optic on there, you can chuck a laser on there if you're keen, you can change the ammo type, this is up to you. Like if you change the 10 millimeter ammo out, it's gonna look slightly different, but it's gonna be more effective. So this is of course up to you. This is the stock variant. This is like baseline, four attachments there, and you can basically pick and choose whatever you like to go on here. But yeah, minimal recoil and good damage. What you get with the MP5 does very good and good work. It's hard to go past any attachment, like I said, on the MP5. They're all just very, very good. Like you can pretty much slap on whatever you like and it'll do some serious work for you. I just love the way this one looks personally. It's very, very clean, lean. Just one of my favorite looking weapon variants for sure. It might not be the most effective because the MP5 is best when it does have that 10 millimeter rounds on it, but it's still one of the best looking weapon attachments for me or variants for me. Right, moving on to another one of the best guns in the game. The M4A1 has a couple of different weapon variants that you can work with. So we're going to talk about two of my absolute favorite ones. One of them is actually quite good and the other one isn't so good, but it's still very, very fun to use. And I love it an awful lot just because of how big of a meme it is. Here we've got the Colt 9mm SMG. And to put this together, starting out with the 11.5 inch Commando Barrel, the Forged Tac Q, or CQS stock rather, and the 9mm para 32 round magazines, which is actually one of my favorite attachments in the game, and I'll talk about that more in a sec. This is pretty baseline for the Colt 9mm SMG, and you can use the last two slots however you want. Like you can throw it on the site like I've got the GA Mini Reflex here, or you can get like a tack laser or a 5mm laser, a grip tape of your choice, sleight of hand. These options will be super, super great for you, like that you'll always get the job done if you slot another two of these attachments on, so GA Mini Reflex and maybe a stable grip tape for me, like up to you really, like you can do some serious work regardless of what you put on this. It's just one of the god guns in the game, it's so, so good, especially with the 9mm rounds, it's one of my favorite things to put on the M4, so, so good. So yeah, this setup will let you be very, very aggressive, moving around quite quickly with all the movement speed attachments and stuff like that. This is a very, very good setup and one of the best that we've got in this list in my opinion. So with the M4, you can also set up a bit of a cheeky M16 build. I mean, it is complete garbage. Like if you've used this thing, like the OG gun, if you've used this, it is complete dumpster fire. But it's great to see an iconic weapon like the M16 make a return in this game, even if it is only a kind of hidden weapon variant. Like when you did reach the maximum level in the launch of the game, I think it was 155, you did unlock the OG weapon variant, which we are looking at here, which is basically the gun everyone used to run in the original Modern Warfare, hence the OG. I mean, I didn't really have to explain that, but here we go. I mean, that weapon very isn't even hidden. It's just like sometimes a little bit hard to unlock. It was actually just given to you. So if for some reason you want to run the M16 in Modern Warfare, you start out with the Burst Fire Perk. You'll also want the attachments that have the M16 in the name, of course, which is the stock M16 Grenadier Barrel and the M16 Stock. And of course, as we can see here, the OG variant also includes the Noob Tube, the Grenade Launcher, which is the high explosive variety, highly explosive rounds. It's, oh, it's just goofy, man. You just chuck some Noob Tube, chuck some grenades across the map, bounce them off like a sign or whatever. Oh, it just brings back so many good memories, man. Like, it's just hilarious that they put this on here and just made it complete. Like, this is the original experience. Minus this gun actually being garbage, whereas the original original M16 in Modern Warfare was actually a beast. It was like that best gun in the game by so much. I'd also probably throw, maybe take off one of the, 
Like if we're talking seriously, if we're taking the underbarrel off or the 50 round magazine off, I'd like for, for completion's sake, we'll take the 50 round mag off and we'll throw on. I mean, it does look a little bit worse. It does look a little bit worse on this gun if we take that off, but we can live with that. And we throw on like a stipple grip table or something like that to make it complete. Like this would do a job. It wouldn't do a good job, but it would certainly do okay. Like this is more of a fun weapon variant. Like it's definitely one that's like designed for people to make YouTube videos on. It's like, hey, look at this goofy ass shit that we got here. Like an M16. It's tr it's trash. It's like a complete trash, but it is definitely fun if it is a little bit garbage. And lastly, we'll finish off with a pretty simple one here. This is the style or Steyr. I think it is Steyr, Steyr Org. You slap on the 622mm long barrel, the integral 3x optic, and the 5.56 NATO rounds. Not only do you get a weapon variant that is super effective because of the 5.56 NATO rounds, you also get one that looks awesome. Like, this is what I think of when I hear the word org. Like, if I'm talking about an org, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for in my org setup. On top of these three attachments, you can also throw on, I guess, the stipple grip tape and the forge tack CQB comb for that aim down sight speed and front to fire speed from the stipple grip tape. Very, very cool attachments to throw on this one. Like, this gun, like, this actual setup here is probably one of the better ones that we've got in this list, and it will end up doing some serious, serious work for you. Like, I love the SMG already. I love the AUG in this game. It's already one of my favorite guns, and this setup for it is actually one of my favorites. Like, it just looks so clean. I just love the way it looks. And it certainly does get the job done. Like, it brings the hurt, man. If you're looking for an org setup that'll definitely work for you, make sure you do try this one out. It is fantastic. Alrighty, guys. So those were seven hidden weapon variants in Modern Warfare. I absolutely love the gunsmith in this game. It is one of the best feature. Like, it gives you so, so many options. And it really does add so much to this game already. Like... You've already got so many options with the guns in this game that it already gives you from opening like opening the game, you already get so many gun options and they're releasing more with DLC. But with the gunsmith, you basically have unlimited options with what you want to do. You make your own guns, get your own weapon variants and stuff like that. You make stuff from the past that you enjoyed previously and you just go from there. It's so, so fun. I love it so much. I have no doubt at all that this is probably the best thing about Modern Warfare this year. I have no doubt about that at all. If this does continue to be part of Call of Duty in the future, I'll definitely keep playing Call of Duty because I just, it's such a super enjoyable mechanic. I know I'm probably going to miss out on it in Black Ops 5 or whatever the new Call of Duty is. It could even be like Black Ops 2 Remastered. I don't think anybody would be upset about that if it was Black Ops 2 Remastered. That would be unbelievable. But we'll have to wait and see at this point. But yeah, I just love making you all these new weapon variants and trying out what works and what doesn't work for me. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this one, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe if you are new around here so you don't miss any more of my videos. Make sure you drop your best hidden weapon variants in the comments below. I'd love to read them and they might even make it into my testing your custom classes series that I was talking about at the start of the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.